He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is Cricket 19's 5 5 Sponsors Cup. Today we have GM taking on Kookaburra 11. Kookaburra 11 has, well, Kookaburra has a very uh, OP side, and you'll see in a second. GM also has a very good side. So this is one of those games that I'm really looking forward to because these two teams are pretty good, evenly matched. Team. So let's jump straight into it. But before we do that, let me know who are you supporting? Who do you think is going to win this one? All right, here we go. Match number four of the 5-5 five five sponsor, Sponsors Cup 2020. Gun and Moore, 11. This is Kookaburra, 11. Emer Emerald Headingley is the venue. Alim Dar and Marat Sarasmus will be officiating the game. There are the two sides, as you can tell. Very good sides, both of them. And they've got Corey Anderson. GM has got Corey Anderson. And if you guys remember, he uh, scored the fastest 100 in ODI against West Indies. I think he did it. <clears throat> and uh, the record was obviously then broken by ABD afterwards. But <clears throat> he's a very dangerous player. And Ben Stokes is the captain of uh, GM. Tim Paney is the captain of Kookaburra, ca a test captain of Australia. Captain Kookaburra 11 here. He has chosen to bowl first after winning the toss. So GM and Stokes and GM are put into bat first. I've got his uh, real bat with the red ball and the, you know, GM diamond bat. As well as others, but here we go. Mid stack to open the bowling for Kookaburra 11, and Aiden Markram will be uh, facing the first delivery. Here we go. Ball number one. All right, it's uh, straight down the ground for four runs right from the get go. This is what I was hoping for, and that's what I'm getting. Let's hope they continue that. Stark goes full again, goes a bit too full. Markram, another boundary. Oh no, this is not going to be a boundary. That's well fielded. And uh, they'll pick up two runs there. So six of two deliveries. Pretty good so far. Living up to the expectation. That would Milan, a very talented batsman. A first song play with Peshawar Zalmi. That's my favorite team. He was so good with Peshawar. And now he's doing uh, really well on international level as well. For England, he's played really well, not only in T20, but also in ODIs and tests. But Josh Hazelwood will be bowling the second over of this game and um, will be bowling his first delivery to Aiden Markram and that's just a dot. I am very much looking forward to seeing uh, Corey Anderson play. He's not playing in this game, obviously. He's the 12th man, but I would love to see him play. I would love to see uh, GM bring him in real soon. The next game, I'm hoping he'll come in. GM is doing all right. Not doing too bad. Oh, I think that's a wicket. Is he going to catch it? Oh, yes, he is. And that's gone. Dan Christian takes the catch. He's another one of those players whose bat is not the right bat. And I have changed it. And if you want to know how to do that, there's a video on the channel. You can look it up and, uh, you know, assign all the official players and non-official players the right bats. Dan Christian takes a comfortable catch in the end. That was a top edge. And GM loses their first wicket. It's Hazelwood who struck. Ed Markham, gun for 11 of 11 deliveries. The only thing with uh, the only bad thing about the GM side is they don't have a proper wicket keeper. Ross Saylor, he's a very experienced batsman. And Nathan Lyon, there he is. Nice, Gary. But yeah, that's really the only problem with that uh, GM side is they don't have a specialist to wicket-keeping batsman. Oh, he's nicked it, but he's safe. He's going around the wicket. A reverse sweep from Ross Taylor, and he's found the gap. He's using the experience and uh, doing it with ease. Volser made a uh, real-life cricket video. It's a lovely shot from Milan. That's gone for six, I think. Has it? Yes, it has. It's landed right on the rope. What a hit. That's gone. That's more like it. 
But yeah, we had a real life cricket video. It's on the channel. Well, I've made a few of them, but I made a new one now. If you haven't seen it, you can go check that out as well. If you need to see anything after this game. But uh, Milan is looking good. All right, there's a fielder, but I think he's beaten him. Oh, yes, he has. Milan, he's such a great batsman. You know, he's young, got a lot of talent. Like I said, he's performing on pretty much all, in all formats and all levels as well. He was doing really well in the PSL and he's also doing really well in the international front, which is the most important part, obviously. All right, Peter Settle comes into ball and this is what I was talking about. They've got such a great side. You know, not just with the ball, but also with the bat. Them GM and also uh, New Balance. That's another very good side. Uh, Adidas is very good as well. He's giving a bit too much room. Ross Taylor is not going to miss out on those. He loves pies, especially when they're just there to be put away. <laughs> Settle. Oh, he's giving him way too much room again. He's not learned his lesson this time. Ross Taylor goes over for the maximum result of six runs. You'd think he would have learned his lesson from the previous delivery, but not to be. And he's been given the treatment. Payne's like, come on, mate. Come on, mate. You're better than this. He's given a bit of room as again, but this time he's put a fielder there. But to no avail, though, as Taylor has found the gap. Christian to ball the final over. Oh, he's gone after it. That's a lovely shot from Milan. It's gone for four or 18 of five deliveries only. Playing out of their skin, both of these batsmen. They're really going after the bowlers. 48 so far, and oh, he's gone. Milan has gone. He's gone for 18 of six. Dan Christian strikes. Payne takes a comfortable catch behind the sticks and. Uh, that's the end of Milan. Pretty good innings, passionate innings. Comes to an end. It is 5-5, so 18 is uh, quite a lot of runs from one batsman. And a 5-over game. Look at that, at 300 strike rate as well. That's pretty damn good. James Vince, now he can hit the ball real hard. Let's hope for uh, GM sakes he can... Uh, put these last four deliveries away take him up to 60 oh that's a lovely shot that's what I'm talking about he's middle that that's gone that's four runs so 52 and I don't think that'll be enough against Kukabura 11 they have to uh, get closer to 60 there's a fielder but I think he's beaten them oh great bit of fielding I thought he had beaten the fielder but that's amazing fielding right there from the fielder saving him two runs but the intention from Vince is clear. He's going to swing and he's going to swing hard. Right, two deliveries to go. What are they going to make of this? All right, he's pulled it away and that's a four. That's lovely. 58 runs. Oh, no, that's not a four. Look at that, the batsman. Look at their running. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Oh, <laughs> and I think he's lost his wicket. Ross Taylor really wanted it. He was really running quick. But James Vince, he was too slow. And I think Taylor is gone. I think he's gone. Yeah, I think he's gone. Or is he safe? I'm not entirely sure because the game sort of glitches when he's on the line. All right, he's gone. That's poor running from Vince. Because Taylor had gone more than half the pitch and then came back and almost made it as well. If Vince had just kept running, he would have made it easily because because Taylor had to stop and then turn around. That takes a lot of time, you know. That's why he lost his wicket. And he's... There you go. And Vince, he's gone as well. The very next delivery. What an over from Dan Christian. Quite a comeback. Gets three wickets in it. Well, two for him, one for the team. And Vince is gone uh, without causing too much trouble. I was hoping you would get 12 plus runs, but uh, he's only got eight. Which is pretty good as well. 200 strike rate. And that's the end of that innings. Pretty good runs, I would say. I mean, you can definitely, with that Milan and Taylor innings, you can definitely see them going over 60 quite easily, but 
Uh, Aiden Markham took a bit too long getting off the mark and uh, well not off the mark but he got off the mark quite comfortably to be honest he smashed it straight down the ground of Saki boy but after that he kind of slowed down and uh, that I feel like hurt them a bit because they could have easily gone over 60 and they did not Jake Ball will be starting or opening the bowling for GM Josh Butler, Martin Guptill. Here we go. The game is very much on because these two alone can chase us down with ease. All right, it's a duck. Giving him a bit of room, allowed him to free his arms, and he's freed his arms. All right, he's gone all the way for six. Josh Butler. But. That's what I'm talking about. This is why I said Kukabura is the one to watch out for. We've got such a strong bowling lineup and then an even better batting lineup. Oh, he's gone after him again. There's a fielder and he's lost his wicket. Jossie Bud, but gone. Having scored six runs of three deliveries, two on a strike race. Pretty good, but not good enough. We need him to stay out there for a bit longer than that. Score a few more runs. But Jake Ball strikes. It's a big wicket. It's Josh Butler, the specialist in formats such as this and they've got him that's a huge wicket joshy butt butt gone six runs who's the next batsman to come in there he is it's peter hanscom let's see how he will cope in this format the thing is none of these players have played a five over game before so it's going to be quite interesting to see how how they cope with it so far to be honest they've done well over 50 runs in pretty much every game and uh, the reply's been pretty good. The bowling's been pretty good as well. Oh, that was a bit too low to be pulled away, but Guptill does not care. He will pull it away. He loves playing that shot, and he's done it so well here. Got him four runs. Junior Dalla will be the one to uh, ball. You know, his last name reminds me of this. The law! What the First delivery, and he's been put away. Hanscom, first boundary of the innings. Moves on to five with that, and Chote Mia is not looking too good. And Stokes, always gone a bit too full. That was in the slot. Hanscom puts it away, does well. That's a sixer. 80 meters long. Stokes, he not too happy with himself. But Hanscom has really put his bat through that one. And to be honest, that was in the slot right there. I was there for him to put away and he's done well 35 I think is uh, required now yes 35 of 16 he's gone too full and Hans uh, Guptil sorry has put that one away for four runs he's going to be bowling Dwayne Pretorius will be bowling the uh, second last over of the game oh, too wide he's trying for the wide Yorker but He's been put away with ease by Hanscom. Dwayne Petakadu missing his mark. He's gone full again. He's trying for the Yorker length, but he's missing it, and that's gone. He's definitely missing his length, and he's been put away for six by Hanscom. Look at that. Boom! Off his pads and into the stands it goes. And now the game has tipped over onto the Kukabura 11 side a bit it's still 12 and over required there's still no easy task but look at that when you've got someone who can hit him as hard as Hanscom has hit him right now you have nothing to worry about that's 16 required of nine now oh he's giving him a bit too much room again he's gone a bit too full and oh that's lovely bit of fielding he saved him at least four runs right there I think so, because they've taken two runs, and that would have been a six if the fielder had not pushed that back inside the rope. That was very well fielded. 14 required only now because of that great save of eight. Oh, that's gone for six. Don't even worry about that one. That is gone. Six. 34. Hanscom moves on to it. He is quite a batsman, isn't he? 34 of 15. Eight runs only of seven deliveries. Looking to finish things off quickly. Oh, he's nicked it. 
It's safe. Summit Patel to ball the final over. Oh, what he's got him. That, that has to be out. That is out. Yes, it is. Alim Dar raises his finger. And uh, that's the end of that. Martin Gupta will have to walk. Because that was straight on. Summit Patel with a brilliant start to the over. Let's see how much of an impact that wicket will have. Tom Latham comes into bat and now he's pretty good. We've got Anscom at the other end, 34 of 16, so I don't know how much of an impact it will really have, but... Oh! See, he's coming around a wicket. He's got an LBW decision going in his favour already. This one's not gonna. It's, this, is, this is not gonna. They're not gonna review it. Nope. Good decision. Alright, here we go. There he goes again. This time he goes straight down the ground. Has he been in the field? Uh, has he? Oh yes, I think he has. That's a six. So just two required of three deliveries now. And that's pretty comfortable at this point. It's gone straight down the ground. Look at that. There was a bit of a turn. Bit of movement off the pitch, but Latham has put that one out of the stadium. He's absolutely put his bat through that one. Two required of three. There we go. Oh, that's out. That's out. That's 100% out. He's hey. gone. What an over it's turning out to be. He's gotten two wickets, given up six runs. <laughs> only two runs required to win, but only two deliveries left as well. Tom Latham gone for six runs of three. This is what I was talking about. Both of these teams are so good. Now they've got Glenn Maxwell, though. And he can definitely finish it off in style. But will he, though? Summit Patel keeps coming around a wicket. Oh, that's a six. That's gone. That's Maxwell in a nutshell. Maxwell in one delivery. Summed up. Two runs required of two deliveries. How about we get six? You know what? We will get six, and guess what? He does get six. And wins the game in style. Glenn Maxwell, an absolute brute. That's why I love him so much. Such an amazing player. And Kukabura have won by two wickets. All right, pretty good game. A very close one came right down to the wire. The final delivery, and... Uh, Peter Hanscom doing really well, 34 not out of 16. Glenn Maxwell doing really well for a one delivery phase. 600 strike rate he walks off with. Pretty good by Summit Patel though. Yes, he gave it 12 runs, but he took two wickets in a very pressure situation. And yeah, that's a victory for Kukabura 11, and Peter Hanscom takes them out of the match. Right here are the wicket takers so far after four games. Here are the highest run scorers. And we will also take a look at the table after four game in a second. But um, do let me know if you're enjoying this. If you are, do drop a like. If you're new, do subscribe, do hit that notification bell. Boys, th th there's over 70% of you that watch my videos, but you do not subscribe. Why is that? Just subscribe, man. Come on. Let's bump up those numbers. Those are rookie numbers I've got, you know? <laughs> the amount of views I get is just not okay for the amount of subscribers I have. So come on, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Comment below, let me know who do you think is gonna win. Share the video with others, you know? You know the drill, come on. Don't, don't slack, all right? Don't be lazy. Come on, you've got nothing better to do. <laughs> You're in quarantine. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, whatever, man. Do whatever you want. I'm just joking, obviously. But if you do subscribe, I will very much appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...